everyone, Werewitch here with Harry, who has promised to keep his comments to a minimum for these quick tip videos. Uh, what did I promise to? Let's get straight to the tips. Okay, so here's the first thing. I know you're frustrated. If you're already watching this, you're looking for help. I want you to know that you've got this. You can do this. In V Rising, the boss fights test your understanding of the game and how well you can apply this knowledge to the fight. The following checklist will add as much weight with your gained know-how to tip the scales in your favor. What one method used for beating a V-Blood may have worked great, may not work for another. It's a matter of finding out what you're missing. Let's go over the checklist together. Do you have the highest possible blood percentage available to you? Does it synergize with your gear or spell loadout? Should it even synergize? Or do you need to go with the more balanced approach? Are you using any crafted or merchant bot potions, any enchanted brew, potion of ferocity, or the best healing potion available? Have you beat all the bosses previous to this one? Have you tried taking out another boss level adjacent, or even a higher boss that you can beat that might unlock a component to make better gear? Have you attempted the fight during a blood moon to gain a little extra damage? Or have you encountered the fight during the day when you should have fought it at night? Are you using the environment to your advantage? And I do mean everything. Is there a boulder, a rock, a nearby monster, a tree, a pack of nearby wolves that could distract a wandering boss for you to get a couple more hits in? Have you tried a different spell loadout, a different weapon or armor? The time you take now to learn other skills will pay dividends at a later boss fight, or all of them. Can you unlock gear or item recipes on your research, study, or Athenaeum? You can also buy missing recipes for merchants as well. Okay, one last thing. Repetition is key. Keep trying. You may pick up on mechanics that I or someone else might miss. If you keep trying and learn something, anything from your attempts, then you aren't failing. You're just learning where to place the knife. Do not give up. We believe in you. Yeah, if Witch can do it, you definitely can. So that's the checklist. Let's look at the fight. Okay, sun is going down. We are currently at 44 gear level. We are using Shade Walker Armor, Hunter's Cloak, Ring of the Warlock, Iron Weapons, Iron Axes, Iron Mace, and Iron Sword. We've got Blood Bros Brew, and we have on the Enchanted Brew, and the Brew of Ferocity. Our spell load out is Veil of Chaos, Wraith Spear, and Phantom Aegis. There are no jewels inside of these. Ultimate is Chaos Barrage. 24% Warrior Blood is what we've got on right now for a little bit of extra power. And I didn't want to use a high blood just to make sure that we're simulating the fight where you would be at uh, maybe more accurately. All right, this is not a real great area right now. It looks like there is a bomber warrior. We're gonna hopefully use these trees and maybe kiten them back a little bit. One thing that you wanna be wary of when you're fighting these bosses is that you do not get too far away from wherever it was that you encountered them. If you kite them too far away and they lose aggro, the fight will reset and that is a bad thing. We're gonna try to get the fight over to here uh, I think that will be a lot better. We want lots of things to maneuver him around. If we can get through right here, looks like we can. That'll be a perfect spot. Let's go ahead and open. If you want to cause trouble, you're going to have to get through me. Not good, not good, not good. That bomb did not help at all. Let's get a barrier up, fire off another spear over here. If you want to heal early and heal often, we're going to attempt to get behind a tree over here and do exactly that. Nip there. Let's go ahead and try to get some of these adds down. Barrier up a little bit there. Let's go ahead and feed, break this person. He'll start charging at points inside this fight. It can be very dangerous. He'll try to be right on top of you. You want to try to avoid that as much as possible. If you can bail up chaos, get these mirages down I so he'll chase shit. those guys around and gain you a little bit of time. When those health orbs drop, try not to scoop them all up at once. Try to leave a couple down on the ground, but not too long. If you down too long, they will disappear. You don't want to hit them right now. That'd be bad. 
Let's try to get in on him. Get some smacks. Get out of that aura. That big ring right there is bad news. Okay. Move over here. Get him out of the way. Get a barrier up. We got a free cast there. So we're gonna play a little sloppy for a moment. Sloppy. I play sloppy all the time. Okay. Let's get in. Get some smacks. All right. Pull away from for a moment. Can we fit through here? We can. Get a barrier up. A little mirage back. We're gonna take our chance here and pop him with the barrage. Boom, boom, boom. And that should drop him. Okay. So that was it, guys. If this helped you out, slap that like button, subscribe, or just leave us a comment below. Harry and I will get back with you as soon as we're available. We have lots of content with tips like these peppered in, and more videos like this one for the games we play here at The Project. We love having your company. Which doesn't have very many friends, and its current group is less than desirable. That would include you too, Harry. <sighs> Thanks for watching. See you later.